Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on Emmanuel's uh, live stream. Uh, so good to have been, you, been with you uh, throughout this week. Uh, obviously, still kind of strange uh, sitting in front of an iPhone rather than uh, with my brothers and sisters in the pews. Um, but we're making do. And thank you for all of your great feedback uh, over the, especially this past week. Uh, over the past few days, we have been, uh, we've, we've done a meditation, gone into evening prayer, uh, we've um, done uh, some, some Lexio Divina and gone into evening prayer as well. Uh, tonight, I want to do something a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more, um, uh, not necessarily free form, it's definitely liturgical, uh, but something that will take less time uh, so that you can get back to uh, hanging out with your, with your, with your family, uh, getting dinner ready. Tonight what we're going to do is uh, use a lesser known little piece of the, of the prayer book called the Supplication. Uh, if you look in the description of, of, this, uh, of this video, you'll find that, uh, that page number for the Book of Common Prayer. It's kind of tucked right there at the end of the Great Litany. We'll also uh, observe Compline, which is a favorite of so many uh, in this parish, and of course uh, a favorite of, of many people across, across the world. Uh, a very short, but I think um, a very uh, sweet evening prayer. So tonight uh, we'll say the supplication, which is especially appropriate in times of national anxiety and angst, and then we'll finish off with Compline. Okay. find this on one, uh, page 154 of the Book of Common Prayer, the Supplication. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. From our enemies defend us, O Christ. Graciously behold our afflictions. With pity behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably with mercy hear our prayers. O Son of David, have mercy upon us. Both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Lord Christ. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name turn from us all those evils that we most justly have deserved. And grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thy honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, or you can actually use that link in the description uh, to go to BCP online. Uh, it's, a, it's a great online resource, and you can actually navigate to certain parts of the prayer book right in there uh, using the hyperlink. I'll give you a second to do that. And even as we uh, grab a prayer book or navigate to the right page on our website, let's take a couple of minutes in silent prayer, uh, reflect on days uh, past, I'll look forward to the coming weekend, um, towards Sunday worship even if it is online, uh, 
towards God's rich blessings even as we shelter in place. Ask God to show us what good there is uh, even at home um, as we uh, enjoy each other's company in, in the new life of, uh, of staying at home because of the sickness. stand. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault thought, in word, in deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God forgive us our, grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's say together Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the bottom of page 131, hear the words of Scripture. Jesus said, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. On page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. 
Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Now's another good time to keep just a moment of silence and prayer, uh, your intercessions and thanksgivings. Uh, it's a good time to grant them unto God, who is, of course, waiting to receive them, uh, and then, of course, waiting to send his grace of comfort to you tonight. Tonight, O oh God, we lift up all of those uh, doctors and nurses in the front lines uh, battling with the sickness with COVID-19. We pray that you would watch over them, uh, that in your providence you would give them everything that they need. We pray for all of those who are already sick. We pray for those uh, who uh, are sheltering in place, that you would continue to sustain them with patience and with good cheer. Pray for all of those loved ones tonight who um, rest in our hearts. And our cry goes to you to protect them, O oh God, sustain them. I'll just conclude with uh, the traditional antiphon and nunc dimittis. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and, to glory, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Once again, it's uh, great to serve uh, you and to lead you in prayer uh, on these weekday evenings. And of course, I hope you'll join us uh, this coming Sunday morning and even perhaps even the evening uh, as well. Have a great Friday night. Uh, stay safe uh, and take care of one another.